Very good morning, ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends and colleagues all around the world. Well, today we're going to make mint, so called the Pudina chutney. Here are the quick ingredients. Why are we doing this? Welcome back to the white gold, right? So, we've been shifting, or we've been moving towards the white gold branding solutions and showing you the importance of this particular product, all right? This is nothing but the coconut desiccated powder, we're using it. This is built for, uh, for white gold. It's exactly around half a cup, all right? Very important, Burud Dal, uh, you know, this is, uh, which gives you a texture and a crunchiness, a little bit of garlic, shallots, tamarind, obviously for the heat you have green chili, then you have coriander leaves, and then you have the main mint. This is around one bunch of it, and this is about half a bunch. Four shallots, just a pea of, uh, what do you call it, just a, a teaspoon, or not even a teaspoon, just probably around one gram or two gram of tamarind and five garlic. That's more or less enough for our pudina chutney. Once we coarse grind this, we go for a tempering and then get to see. See, what I was talking about yesterday is that this this, this particular powder, it's very, very important uh, for the people who are looking for convenience, right? This is, this is not that when people might actually end up talking about it. Fresh coconut had different, a different flavor, a different texture, but nothing like that. The idea is that this has 74% fat still yet, even though we have removed the coconut milk only once or twice. But still, this particular desiccated powder has 72-78% of fat in it, which will constitute for milk or so on and so forth. Anyways, let's go ahead and coarse grind this and then come back. Alright folks, we're going to do a tempering for this uh, Purina Mint Chutney. Just a dash of oil. This is, this is normal oil. Alright, in goes mustard, curry leaves, in goes red chilies. This is the guntur chili, okay? It'll give you spicy and also a little bit of color. But color is not required because it's going to be a green color, right? A green chutney, okay? Urad dal, little bit of urad dal, that's for the crunchiness. Okay. Alright, just that we are just adding the tempering here, that's about it. Check for salt later and add a little bit of water as required. Alright folks, that's about it. Chutney is done. Alright folks, here it is. This is gonna go and come back. We're gonna put on the plate. We'll do the plating with idli today and then we have one more chutney. It's already ready. Uh, this is no there's no coconut in this, this is tomato chutney. Alright. <laughs> so anyway, so this is uh, that's done. This is done and idli is just getting it done. There you go. All right, yes, I'll see you soon. All right, folks, now there's a taste time. This is uh, our idli, and uh, I would not leave the recipe here because it's pretty much common, but we have added two things important that I will tell you. And then here is a mint chutney, and then obviously our the onion tomato chutney. This is a favorite for me, and I, I love this, and obviously, the refreshing is our mint chutney. So, anyways, happy Tuesday. Have a wonderful day ahead and um, keep signing in and keep appreciating the work that we all do from White Gold. See you soon for the next video. Take care. Cheers.